Man, well, I can you... push. I can push A to cancel Northern Lion. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> cancel him. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> is there another voice Jay, coming from? Jay. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Where, where, where is it? What is that? Corey? It, it might. Yes. Are you hearing my my sub notification? I'm sorry. Is that no. what that is? Yeah. Is that yeah. Like duck quacking. No, it's Gilbert Godfrey. Oh, okay. how long is it? <laughs> oh no, it's five gifted subs. So unfortunately, uh. <laughs> it just five times. Dude, well, how'd you hire Gilbert? We were looking for him to do some work for our football podcast. Yeah, oh, we it, 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 it's just cameo. Uh, really? How much yeah. was? It? I'd rather not say. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Gilbert got free cameo. Hey, don't, don't put me. The, Am I gonna have to come clean? <laughs> it's gonna happen. Yeah. Whether you okay. want. Can I? Can I? Uh, here's a question. Was it? I was gonna say, is it more or less than one hundred and fifty-one dollars? Exactly. <laughs> On the dollar. Yeah, that's Dude, public that's info, bud. That's not that bad to get Gilbert no. Godfrey to say some shit for you. Dude, exactly. he responds in one hour. Dude, I bet he <laughs> makes fucking day. bank doing that. The same day. Yo, actually, you know, now, now that I know it's $150, we could chip that in for the football yeah, podcast. No, yeah, totally. I, I was being, like, pretty sincere when we were talking about that. That's me absolutely too. something we could do. I kind of want Dude, to. Oh, yeah, but hear me out here. Why would you spend 150 on Gilbert Gottfried when you could spend 175 on Kate Flannery? And you're like, oh. who? Uh, she played Meredith in The Office. <laughs> Ooh, let's go, dude. dude. I, think, I think Kevin charges a lot on uh, on Cameo. Did I mean, Cameo ever approach you, Ryan? Uh, they might have. I can't remember, honestly. But I'm thinking, <laughs> of, I'm thinking about pivoting. <laughs> now that I've seen all the all the people that are on it, I'm thinking about pivoting. Right? Like, oh, wait, there's a there's a YouTuber section, right? Let's see. Yeah. No, well, they they talked to me a little bit like a couple years ago, and I I I had like the strong opinion that I was not nearly enough of a big shot to have a cameo page, so I didn't do anything about it. So, okay, Snoop Dogg is nine hundred dollars, which is you know that's intense. It's high. Man. I'd like to sort by highest price to lowest price, please. That would be pretty. So cute. that I can judge people. <laughs> Dude, are you seeing this shit? What not else? Tom Cruise, eighty nine dollars. Oh, yeah, he's a shit. he's Tom a Cruise. Tom Cruise impressionist. He's charging eighty nine bucks a greeting. That's incredible. He's not Dude, he's not him. Tom Cruise. Exactly. <laughs> oh no, right. he must be good. <laughs> I should do a Gilbert Godfrey impersonation for uh, eighty nine dollars. Oh, dude, cameo. undercut him. Here you right? go, Carol Baskin, two hundred and ninety nine dollars. <laughs> Holy yeah, shit! I was, I, was gonna, I was gonna get Carol Baskin, and then I was like. I don't really want to pay three hundred dollars to Carol Baskin. <laughs> Page <laughs> one of one hundred and forty-six is all oh money getting like better. Godfrey is selling himself cheap, to be honest with you. Yeah, well, I mean, it's probably keeping him in business pretty well, dude. Yeah. The guy who played Michael Bolton in Office Space is only forty bucks. That's hey, not bad. You pay, get, get him to pay forty bucks to say PC load letter. What the fuck yeah. does that mean? Right. That you must be you like literally, me. you pay him for two minutes of their time. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty it's sick, right? Money. It's $150 for him to be like, Happy birthday, Carolyn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go take a shit. There's yeah. so many of them, it really looks like they're like reading off of a piece of paper, too, man. It's like, honestly, just like the moment they get the project. Okay, what does it say? Read this, blah, 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 and it's done. <laughs> they just spin in a circle on their like front facing camera. Yeah. I mean, if I was in the same situation, that's how I'd do it. Yeah, dude, this is sick. Yeah. Some of this is no, messed up. Like, awesome. It's a smart idea. Kermit the Puppet, thirty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> that's like Wait, DMCA. So it's not like, yeah, like they're <laughs> still using the name Kermit. They think they're safe Fake because they Kermit. took away the frog part. Huh. So to put it into perspective, remember I said Snoop Dogg is nine hundred dollars. Yeah. You want to know uh, what what you can get for like the elite tier? Okay. What's yeah. that? No. But Kevin O'Leary <laughs> for twelve hundred dollars. Oh, dude, I did see that. Sick. Who even wants it? Come on, man. Like, what the fuck? Maybe he invested in cameo. I Kevin don't o like that guy. O'Leary. Oh, no, of course. Who does? Even though I think like his opinions are bad, I also it, resent the fact that he's considered like a business leader. When, I yeah. resent the fact he, that he's considered a comedian. What? Oh, <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's, that's Cameo's true. algorithm, I guess. 
I don't know, does it make him a good businessman or a horrible businessman? That when he sold his company to Mattel, it almost tanked the corporation into bankruptcy and is considered like one of the worst oh business deals of all time. Let's let's see what else we got going on here in Cameo. Um, I'm trying to figure out what the price myself at. You know, you know who's, who's going to be on there in like three months, right? Uh, are you talking about Luna? The current uh, <laughs> president of the United States? Yeah, he's definitely going to be on there. He's I'm in! Uh, I don't think Joe Biden knows how to use Cameo, Corey. <laughs> nice. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> how do I smell the girls? <laughs> Look, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, Dan has one. Apparently. He does. He does yeah. indeed. How much does Dan charge? This is like 60 or 70 bucks. Oh, like that's that. not bad. Yeah. He did win Big Brother. Like, Yeah, right? That's he really like... Big Brother. That's the pipeline for a lot of like 90 Day Fiance, like reality His, TV dude, show kind of. He's well, dude, $68. Like there's... 68? <laughs> Are you what is me? he doing? <laughs> That's so good. Dude. No, yeah, you're right. Backpack oh, kid. Fuck. Okay. Backpack kid for 20 bucks. That's you, a deal. You can get backpack yeah, kid. I'm, I'm, I'm flossing. He invented. He's not a kid anymore. He's like 22. <laughs> he's flossing. He's backpack man. All right. YouTube stars on cameo. That was fun, but let's uh, let's take it a little further. All in creators. No, no, no. I want to see actors. Real yeah. actors. Real American actors. You're not going to find many six real successful Come on. <laughs> There's going to be people who had, like, you know, a short stint in the spotlight. Uh, Barry Williams. Oh, hell yeah. Barry Williams, who played uh, Greg Brady on the Brady Bunch. Nice. Oh, yeah. My favorite guy. Robert Can De Niro get... impersonator. Can I get <laughs> Steve Buscemi and then give him directorial notes to make it? so that he cares as little as possible while he's reading whatever. <laughs> Yo, dude. Like, you can totally do that, but whether or not they decide to listen to you is like, you know. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Dude, like, Shooter McGavin, $220? <laughs> that's, that's really highly valued. That's a little bit. I don't know if that guy plays the stock market. Well, you, you should you if he's just... getting. You can't just sort the cameos by like highest price? No, it doesn't seem like it. That's no. lame. <gasps> Gold. So far, it's Dennis O'Leary, dude. Twelve hundred. No! Shit, man. Twelve hundred bucks. Yeah. Kevin O'Leary. Kevin. Yeah, right. Not yeah, right. I was right. like, <laughs> I didn't want to say it. <laughs> I'm an asshole. Well, hey, dude, here you go. The guy who played Zordon on the Power Rangers. 20, Yo, twenty-five dollars. What? Twenty-five I bucks. Do that. It, dude, every one of his cameos is, hi, this is guy who played Zordon on the Power Rangers. <laughs> <laughs> like, does he not play Zordon for it? You can tell him I mean, to do the tries. voice, I guess. No. But he doesn't have, like, a, a filter that, like... Well, I mean, I could add that, I guess. That's fine. This is so good, dude. Oh. How'd you go broke? Oh, just oh, no. <laughs> paying celebrities 80 bucks to say hi to me <laughs> on cameo? <laughs> Apparently, Bo Jackson for four hundred dollars. That's incredible. <laughs> the guy who played Donkey Lips on Salute Your Shorts. <laughs> what about Danny Bonaducci? Is he on there? I I just He's gotta keep scrolling there. until I find them. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, like anybody that was on like Hollywood Squares is probably on there. Oh yeah. Don't worry, I got a lot coming. Brad oh. Garrett from Everybody <laughs> Loves Raymond. Yes. <laughs> Abra! That's my rave. Oh, that's Abra. Yo, Riker's Abra. on there? You can get Riker. This is incredible. Who's you Riker? mean like uh from, from Star Trek Next Generation? Yeah. Ah, okay. yeah. Not the guy who invented the island. <laughs> <laughs> it is his. I actually I kinda want to get Riker to just do uh clips from that other show that he's in that's in that meme. <laughs> you know? Oh, <laughs> right, yeah. It was an illusion. Hey guys. We made it up. <laughs> but uh, actually, you know, this is the thing that I wanted to ask: is uh, are all these people queuing for your? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. cool. That is cool. Pretty, pretty sick. cool. He's like famous now. Yeah, it's Thank weird. All guys finally. <laughs> <helped him. laughs> finally, ten, ten years down the road, he gets noticed. <laughs> the 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 Fall Guys video 
uh, that I did of my own mode. Great news! More people than usual are choosing this video from YouTube recommendations. We did it. <laughs> wow. I read it. You're now algorithm friendly. I have you become... Oh, I got slightly recommended by the algorithm. Uh, Incredible. My typical range from the algorithm is 9 to 14,000, and that video is at 31,000. So oh, shit. you can look. My cameo rates just went up by seventy-five cents. <laughs> yeah, what's the, what's the PPM on? Uh... He's now at twelve hundred seventy-five dollars. Twelve hundred and seventy-five dollars for. Uh, Holy shit! For a what a bark! Mm -hmm. How, yeah, happy birthday! <laughs> hey, hey, everybody! Next. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Dude, everybody, I don't know hear about your grandpa. grandpa. <laughs> have you have you heard B Rex's impression of you? I have not. It is it is uncanny. Like it is yeah. incredible. Well, yeah, that like, bothers me because he's from <laughs> Newfoundland, so he shouldn't be able to do my accent. Hey, everybody! I should, I should only be able to do his. <laughs> hey, everybody! That I'm is come on. Who are Amazing. you from? Newfoundland. <laughs> they, that would be great if you click the right stick with the NLSS shirt on, and it went. Hey, everybody! <laughs> hey everybody! That was so good! <laughs> yeah, it's like my one thing that I that can do. That was exactly on! Oh my god, I yep. thought it was here! Yep. <laughs> <laughs> my NL impression constitutes that and that alone. <laughs> hey everybody! That's so good! I can't really do a Newfoundland accent. It's kind of like Scottish Canadian. But I hate to say because like the only Newfoundland culture I get exposed to lately is waking up at 6 a.m. and watching their COVID briefings. So it's kind of like in poor taste. So they, all the briefings are like, you wouldn't fucking believe it. We <laughs> two fucking cases. We're going into complete fucking lockdown. Oh, man. They got really loose FCC censors. <laughs> <They, we, laughs> the censor is working overtime. Mm -hmm. After everyone's like, ah, oh, we fucking. Oh, shit. <laughs> that is it. Lord Thunder and Jesus. <laughs> We're canceling the mummers. That's not a good impression, but. That's Philly. Who are the mummers? The, 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 you're canceling actors? Mummers is when you. Mummers, they do a funny dance. You, you cross dress and then go get drunk at your neighbor's house. Oh, that sounds fun. It's a real shit. holiday. You're going on the mummers? Uh, well, I don't, because it sounds like, like, kind of like a nightmare version of Halloween to me, but... Just fucking oh, relax! Yeah, so they have a Mummer's Day, or Mummer's Parade on Thanksgiving in, uh, Philly every year. Oh, do they give out, uh, D batteries that you can huck at Santa Claus? <laughs> but you always got perfect match every single game. That's Thank you for subscribing! <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I need to turn the volume down. <laughs> Why is it coming out of your your speakers? My headphones. No, that's coming out of your headphones. Headphones, dude. Yeah. You oh, gotta, no, the, did your hearing gone? Are you yeah. deaf? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> it's just very loud. That's that's crazy, man. It's impressive, honestly. It's scary. Oh, I'm in the front row. What do you yeah. think is the trashiest media you've consumed? I think mine's oh. probably Jersey Shore. Dude, it's not even close. Love oh. After Lockup is the trashiest show in television history. Can you briefly explain it for me? I don't know if I ever heard about it. Love that. After Lockup is basically the same thing as 90 Day Fiance, where um, you know it's a couple and one of the, you know they they follow the couple from the genesis until you know the inevitable breakup or uh, arrest. And the wow, gimmick of this one is wow. that usually one of the partners is on the outside and then the other one is in jail and they met through like a prison dating service or like sending letters. Like mm. I read about his case and sent him a fan letter oh, and then all of a sudden. Oh God, ah, yeah. I really, I really oh. liked it because he was a serial killer. Dude, there is ah. a great, and, and it's, it's, it's horrible. Like the show is horrible. He's so attractive, but he looks like a, my grandpa. <laughs> There's a great episode where, like, you know, this older woman and this semi-younger guy, you know, the older woman picks him up when he gets out of prison, he gets released, and she said, so what do you want first, your steak or your blowjob? And she, like, <laughs> winks, and then I kid you not, he says, the steak. Steak. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. I, mean, I feel like that's just the wrong choice, though, because the steak would be so much better after the blowjob. But maybe he's getting a lot of during a lot of blowjobs. Oh, there you go. Right. 
There's that Seinfeld episode. George with the food. Mm -hmm. The sandwich is in the bed. Mm -hmm. um, I don't want to try that. Just a whole hoagie. Oh, How long like, before I know Exotic like Joe's on that show? Uh, Joe Exotic? Joe Exotic, sorry, yeah. Oh my <laughs> God, Joe. Cameo? I bet he's on Cameo. He can't be on Cameo. Be. He's in jail. Yeah, ah. like, cameo from jail. Yeah. You can't do Cameo from jail. That's a It pays a livable wage. Oh, it's a literal app called Cameo from Jail. <laughs> you are the mother. Yeah, they take they take ninety five percent of the proceeds. Dude, I, I, yeah. nothing, dude. <laughs> dude, you know what's really surprising? Who's on Cameo though? Um, your mommy. Nice. <laughs> uh, Don Lewis. It's Damn. really weird. How does it feel CNN to get guy. wrecked like that though? CNN what? guy. I know him from CNN. No, no, that's Carol Baskin's husband. Uh, wait, oh, I'm thinking of Don Lemon. <laughs> yeah, I was like, wait. <laughs> yeah, Don Cherry's on there too, probably. All, all the Don fruit names. A lot of Dons. <laughs> oh my god, dude, hearing Fate Sorry. Gilbert Godfrey has become a pretty good bit. <laughs>Oh, they're just called Jackbox Party Packs now, huh? Oh, this is whatever you would like to put it in. If we're, if we're playing the Jackbox Party Pack 7, you could put it in as that. My, they're just like a multiple one. It's just packs. Oh, that's good, actually. But, um, it's, but I'm only going to be playing from one pack today, so yeah, like, technically that's a little misleading. Prove it, you cop. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I wish I was Hello. a cop. Hello, Sim. Do you? Yeah. Yikes. <laughs> Not like a non-practicing one. Okay, fair. Yeah. A non-practicing. It comes with a lot of perks, dude. A not cop. Hello. Hello, Hello. Victor. Hello. Okay, oh, hello. Hello. How's it going? Hello. What perks come along with being a cop? You get a badge. It's true. You get a uniform. I actually have. You know, my uh, my grandpa was a cop, so I have a little um, I have a little uh, mini badge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, that too. Wait, what do you mean by that? What is a mini badge? <laughs> like, uh, they, they, so if you are family members with a cop, it, they can give you these tiny badges that you oh, can God. put in your wallet. And then what happens is, no, uh, you have, yeah, no, I'm not kidding. Like, you, you're, you're, then what happens is you get the privilege of being in a cop situation and opening up your wallet and being like, oh, where's my ID? And then they, they say, oh, what's that badge? So, but I don't have a wallet anymore, so. <laughs> what? All right. I, I mean, I don't carry it with me. I don't have That's a wallet. enriching story, Rob. I, they, you asked what the fuck the badge was the, for! The mini badge is like a real thing, though? Yes, yeah. I've never heard That's of that. Like, That's like the little thing you can you can buy to like, when you donate to the police union, you put a little sticker in your window behind, and then when you get pulled over, you like tap on it. With your mini badge. Yeah. Yeah. You're double protected. <laughs> it's like bringing a cross and garlic to hunt Dracula. I can just stream the Jackbox window, right? Yeah. If you want to lose your channel to the AMCA motherfucker, you yeah, yeah. not. You didn't invent Times New Roman. You're just going to use, you're going to monetize Times New Roman for commercial purposes. You're going to monetize these colors. <laughs> monetize these. Nice. You can do that. You can do that. You can do that. Yeah, there's OnlyFans, you know. Well, you could just put it on YouTube. You just have to say it's like a self exam. That's true, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Isaac video and then just testing my balls. <laughs> <laughs> I can't play music during the Jackbox segment anymore. This is annoying. Yeah. I mean, um, Sindicta yeah. has a different approach to DMCA protection <laughs> than the rest of us. <laughs> and he well, yeah, may be right, right now. but. <laughs> Let us set sail with. Okay. A good name for a dating app for lawyers <laughs> Courting or Tits for Law. Courting is really good. That is clever, but. It's hits. very cerebral. God damn it. <laughs> Thanks for that? subscribing to... <laughs> <laughs> what was that? What was that? It was Gilbert Godfrey, dude. Yeah, it's my sub notification. It's so loud. Dude, I always <laughs> remember <laughs> when Marvel's Avengers came out, there was this guy on the front page. Every time someone followed him, it played like 
45 seconds of the portal scene from Endgame with all the music. <laughs> but because he was on the front page, he was getting like 30 followers oh, a second. Oh. <laughs> it was so good. <laughs> the next dating reality series. Love is... Temporarily incarcerated, or love is in jail. All right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That's, uh, gonna go ahead and uh, skip. What? <laughs> you missed the previous jokes. He wasn't here for the previous jokes. Yeah. Oh, also, Sinvicta, you weren't here to find out that Gilbert Godfrey, 150 bucks. That's on, it. Yeah, on camera, yeah. 150 bucks. We can get him for the show, dude. We can get him for the podcast. We yeah. Can. Easy. My, but it's his brand. Do you think you could just pay him 150 bucks times 12 to get him to show up for 60 minutes of the podcast? He's <laughs> <laughs> got that kind of money. Right? It's what Patreon's for. Oh, yeah. Something you'd, gladly, Patreon don't have. something you'd gladly pay $45 for. A Northern Lion cameo or a cameo from Rupert Grint? Oh, well, I mean, I'm going to be honest. Well, it depends. Are you, are you pricing it what it's worth or are you pricing it to move? Is this a quantity or a quality play? <laughs> <laughs> Who is Rupert Grint? He played Ron Weasley, dude. He, did play Ron he just had a baby. Dude. Okay. You don't follow the blogs? The no blog. D Delisted, Perez, Hilton, TMZ.com. Ryan. TMZ.ca. I, but I typed the streamer's name, so I win. <laughs> I can play video games, <laughs> right? Like, that's not going to get copyright struck, Probably right? not. Yeah, don't just don't play just video play... game music from uh, Grand Theft Auto V. Uh, just play music. Roses? No, don't do that. Roses are red, yeah, don't that. violets are blue, I got you this card, and I'm hungry. Or, roses are red, violets are blue, I got you this card, now you owe me one too. Dude, I'll that's like that. how the card system works, and I hate yep. it. Yep. Just, you know, I don't need cards. Did you send a thank you card? <laughs> Did you send your grandmother a thank you card? I like, sent her a thank you text. That Mom. entire industry is based on shame. Yes. I, I feel fairly comfortable sharing this. I think she wouldn't okay. mind. But one time, Elise's grandmother sent out uh, cards to her granddaughters, shaming them for not wishing her a happy birthday. Ooh, <laughs> <right>. <laughs> nice. The best is when you get a birthday card from like a relative, and you open it, and there's nothing in it. It's just the card. Mm -hmm. uh, why? You're like. Would you think they're going to send you some money? You, yeah. You spend money just to the, like, I got nothing. <laughs> but Grandma, just Ven me, Venmo me, 543, yeah. five bucks and 43 cents for the stamps. <laughs> exactly. $75. Just Ven, what's so cool people say? They say Ven me. Just Ven me. Ven you cap that? Get me back on Ven. <laughs> ven it up, bro. Venmo. Uh, <laughs> frankly, I wish we Vend a little bit less. I took a locket anyway. Oh, oh. I like a diagram <laughs> joke. It's a joke about Venmo, Corey. It's a Venmo joke, yeah. Venmo Nacho joke. cheese. Nacho joke. cheese. It's not yours. Nachos. Yeah. Nachos. <laughs> might be the worst <laughs> round. What are you talking about? Roses are red, violets are blue. I got you this card now. You owe me one, too. That's a classic. That's pretty good. That's a classic answer. I've never it's, heard it. It's no Herbie fully loaded, but. Oh, this Thanks. one. I don't know what the bet is. Okay. The bet is Will Bear Quiplash in round two. Ooh. There you go. If if you if the bet was for me, I'm just saying I'm putting my finger on the scale. No. <laughs> <laughs> bet no on me. Uh oh. These these are garbage answers. Dude, I'm not the warmed up. I haven't been doing comedy for the last three hours. I'm not warmed up yet. No. No, well, not, none of us have either. So <laughs> okay, come on! Peter got there first. We were all going to make that joke. Realistically, the third little pig should have made his house out of flex tape or his bootstraps. Oh, man. Oh, no. They're so good. That is really good. That's a Ryan joke, huh? How is it so obvious every time? <laughs> I don't think like chat just has so much inherent doubt in everything we do. Let, let's you see. How, how did they bet? How did they... About a quarter bet on you to, to get a quiplash. Well, that's a little generous. <laughs> I, 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 I feel as though the... the 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 incentive should be a victory, but maybe it's just because the catalyst is me noticing that it's about me now. A clear sign you brought the wrong baby home from the hospital. 
she has hair, or they're cool. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. That hurts. I mean, you know, they they want you to, like, really go spicy on this one. <laughs> you know, and also, you know, Ryan, I have your stream open. Oh, no! <laughs> 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 the one thing the entire family can agree upon at Thanksgiving dinner. Uncle Joe is a frickin' prick or pawn preferences. <laughs> they haven't added the there's no there's no swear filter on Twitch yet. But that that's coming. That's that'll be next month. Pawn preferences would have been really good. Yeah. Oh, oh man. Yeah. He even said it. God he damn did. it. That would have got it. Well, so much for my potential quip last. Oh no. Dude, you know what? Mega Man X soundtrack, that's what's happening. Capcom? Really, dude? That's the those are the Bro, waters you wanna like tread? Great point. Yeah, no. Oh no, but I'm already on Castlevania. Well, whatever. That's you know Konami. what? Safety tip. It's oh, okay, you know what? Driver <laughs> safety tip, it's unwise to operate a motor vehicle. And dab at the same time. Uh, driver safety tip: It's unwise to operate a motor vehicle and on a person at the same time. <laughs> yeah, they're not wrong. That'd be pretty impressive if you could do both. <laughs> it does look like it reads "dab on a person." You should be able yeah. to fuse answers for one. You should be able to dab answer. on a person while operating a motor vehicle. Oh, driving. it's unwise to operate a motor vehicle. And on a person at the same oh, time. I did. Oh my god, dude. I thought it was mistyped. Next. Wait, did you guys <laughs> no, I, didn't I didn't get it. It was too cerebral. Oh, oh god. god. It's just a matter of time before someone goes through Alpaca Patrol's phone and finds you know what or his <laughs> tiny badge. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys want, you guys want to know the, the one time that I tried to use the tiny badge? Yes. <laughs> so, um, my oh friend my was carrying uh, an open container of, of alcohol, and then cops came by, and then he threw it away, and then wouldn't tell the cops that he was the one, so they uh, booked us all. And then I pulled out my wallet, and uh, he saw the badge, and he was like, oh, what's that? And I was like, it's my grandpa's. And he's like, oh, what's your grandpa's name? And I forgot his last name, so I didn't get it. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Officer Grandpa? You forgot uh, his last name? <laughs> grandpa? <laughs> yeah. That's it for round two. Time really flies, huh? Let's see your So it scores. didn't work out. I'm trying to think if I know my grandpa's last name, and I'm pretty sure. Well, no, I guess I don't. I, I definitely do. I absolutely my. do. Well, it, mine, mine's an interesting situation because he's not my Same. mother's biological father. Yeah, Same. Same situation. But doesn't she have his name? Three. Separate. I don't know. <laughs> I think so. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> and I didn't ever talk to him that much either for a very long time. So it's very interesting. But yeah, I'm pretty certain. All right. I'm just not going to touch that one. We'll, we'll, yeah, no, it's probably we'll, not worth talking at all. We'll figure that one out <laughs> off stream. Old Grandpa, what's his face? <laughs> I. Chat, I don't think I can quiplash on this one. It's <laughs> the votes are not being kind to you. <laughs> you can't quiplash the final thing anyway. You might be right. But imagine, okay. dude, if it's if he wins though, you're going straight to the moon. Corey's off. He's a w ten to one, so one to ten stock split right yeah, now. You know, if, chat, if you win this, Ryan will give you a free cameo. Oh, shit. That's definitely well. I, all at once, I'll give them a free cameo. Three words, <laughs> Three words that will instantly drive you to irrational anger: digital millennium copyright or overhead bins full. Ooh, ooh, two good answers. Bears beats Battlestar Galactica. That's that's four words. Question. <laughs> Which type of bear is best? False. Black bear. You, you just quoting the office? <laughs> yeah, that's me. That's the new character I'm gonna be. All right. I mean, I'm kind of into it to be honest. Who the fuck is Schmidt? That's the hosts of the show. Okay, well. Schmidt. Yeah, eat shit, Schmidt. 
<laughs> Schmitty Werben Jaegerman Jensen. Three things you can be besides talented. Attractive, wealthy, and a giraffe. Or rich. Okay, choose your favorite. <laughs> yeah. Can you be a giraffe? Though? The rule of all. Identity theft is not a joke, Jim. <laughs> so Toby uh, left, and we've got the, the new bit. I was just gonna do the whole episode. I'm just gonna do the whole episode. Not quotes, but all of it front to back. Oh no, I spilled the chili. Oh no. Your three-step plan for defeating King Kong. Ding, dong, bong. Or <laughs> big building, nice lady, 1930s favorite. biplane. I can't. I can't not vote for ding dong bong. Ding <laughs> dong bong. So you right. ring. A, I mean, that is kind of how they do it in King Kong, right? Like they put him to sleep. No, it was Beauty that killed the beast. Well, ultimately, obviously. Twas. <laughs> Twas. Twas. Where's the bong? Did they, did they? No, they ring a big bell on his head. Yeah, they drop the bell go. on his head and then they smash it with a big hammer. Yeah. <laughs> and then he goes, his <laughs> eyes like roll around in his head. Whoa! <laughs> Pretty birdie. And then he falls backwards off the Empire State Building. What the hell happened to you guys during fall? He gets guys? caught by one of those trampolines. You yeah. know what I'm talking about. He's got what a jump pad underneath him. And he lands in a pile of bananas, and you know, the credits roll. Yeah, but for some straight. reason, when he lands in the bananas, it makes the sounds of, like, a bunch of bowling pins getting knocked over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when he, when he falls off the building, he goes, ah! <laughs> The and slide don't, whistle plays. <laughs> just don't ask Rob about how, how he likes to eat his bananas. Uh-oh. <laughs> Wait, what? Dude, Rob does have the wrong banana. That man. was a great qu like uh, impression there. That was of like King Kong, yeah. Count King Kong Dracula. <laughs> <laughs> like, what if King Kong got bitten by a Dracula? Mm-hmm. I like uh, that combo. Yeah. I want to suck your banana. <laughs> <laughs> I want to climb a building. <laughs> and he'd be so much harder to kill because he could fly. And by kill, I mean put into service in the traveling show industry. Um, mm -hmm. Yo, plus, it would be so hard to stop him because he would only come out at night. Otherwise, he'd get burned by the sun. So you'd have to use, like, high-powered lights or something. Oh, hell yeah. Wouldn't that be crazy? Oh, yeah. yeah, plus, how would he find a coffin large enough to sleep in, dude? Right? And he's got to have the dirt of his home country in it, too. Skull Is that a vampire thing? Yeah. Welcome they made a canon in Bram Stoker's Dracula as made famous by Francis Ford Coppola. 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 They filled the boat with all the Transylvanian soil, and then by the time it washes up on shore in London, all the sailors are dead. Yeah. Tom are we Waits good is... Yeah. yeah. Tom Waits is looking flies off the wall. Mm -hmm. Dude, give me your best Tom Waits. Okay, it's... Uh, how do you play this one? What do we do? <laughs> <laughs> the only Tom Waits impression I do is, uh, I know this girl. She's been married so many times. She's got rice marks all over her face. That's that's <laughs> my that's my Tom Waits impression. I'm big in Japan. I'm big in Japan. Uh, I've got a serious alcohol problem. <laughs> Cold women and warm beer. <laughs> I've been a drinking a mimogamma gamma 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 gamma